This is going to be every single shiny bug location in the teal mask in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. This one took a lot of time, so if you're looking for a specific bug, make sure to check out the timestamps down below to find the bug that you may need. Also, if you're looking for any other Pokemon typing, there is a complete playlist on the channel for the teal mask, as well as Paldea or the regular one. There's going to be a special spot in this video that you should pay attention to for certain hunts. And make sure to subscribe for shiny luck. All right, let's get into the video. Okay, so for the bug sandwich, the recipe is going to be one cherry tomato and two salty herba mysticas. Make sure to put whatever sandwich that is easier in the comments down below. You guys are doing awesome by doing that in every single video. So I appreciate those who are commenting those things. And if you made the sandwich correctly, you should see sparkling power bug and encounter power bug. There's a lot of small Pokemon with the bug sandwich. So you're going to want to be able to zoom in to distinguish what is a shiny and not a shiny. To do this, press the home button. Go to your settings, go all the way down to system. From system, go down to zoom in and zoom out. Make sure that's enabled. And that way, when you're in your game, you can double tap the home button to zoom in and uh, Y and X to play around with the zoom. Okay, let's get hunting. The next Pokemon we're going to be hunting is going to be Vicavault's pre evolutions, Grubbin and Charger Bug over there. And as you can see, the shinies on the screen for it are going to be this red color. This is a specific hunt you're only going to be doing at nighttime. Do not do this hunt during the day as we're going to be running into a bunch of cutie flies if we do that. So pretty much by night, I mean, as soon as the sky turns orange and it's dusk, this is going to be the location where we're going to be doing it. In order to just do this as efficiently as possible, you could picnic reset close to this location right over here, which is here on the map. So this and basically this entire piece of land all the way on the wistful fields is going to be what you're going to be using to hunt. So all the way up to there, you can go back and forth or you can camp over here where I believe this area has the most spawns, especially when like jump on top of something and you can see the most amount of Pokemon. Just make sure you're zooming in with the zoom in trick on Grubbins. And when it comes to charger bugs, you don't really need to care if you see red in the grass that's your shiny charger bug that's gonna be that simple so no need to, to really check on that if you want to change things up and just go back and forth like i said this whole entire area is open up to you to just run and see what these spawns are going to be it's literally just grubbins this is not during the daytime if you come here during the day as soon as it turns morning you'll see cutie flies here so keep that in mind if you want to deal with a nice solo hunt for grubbins and charger bugs so that way you can get your vic of all you have any luck here let me know. Good luck catching this Pokemon and adding it to your collection. This is my favorite spot in the game to hunt Yanmas because this is where I accidentally got my first one in the game. There's the shiny in this clip over here. That was my first shiny of the entire teal mask. So what you want to do is come to Wisteria Pond. And as you can see, the only Pokemon that spawns in the water is going to be Yanmas. And there are a lot of them. So two things you can do. You can rotate around completely the area. Obviously, don't want to bump into other Pokemon. Or you can run through the lake or picnic reset. Honestly, those are what you could do when you're here. And this is what the shiny looks like, of course. It's going to be a bluish green color. And its evolution is going to look like this when you evolve it. But you should only be getting Yanma spawning. And there are quite a few. So I suggest doing a picnic reset when you're on this lake area. You just face all these Yanma. You stand over here. Pop your picnic. Is it Yanma or Yanma? I guess it depends what part of the country you're from. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know what I meant. But then you get a bunch spawning over here. So pretty much just picnic reset right over here at this exact spot where I am. You don't want to run around and you can zoom in if you if you really need to clarify if there's a shiny or not. All right. Good luck hunting your Yanma. At nighttime, this is going to be one of my favorite hunts. Now, this is going to be for Volbeat and Illuminized. Now, something interesting is that in Pokemon Scarlet, it seems that Illumize is going to be spawning more. And in Pokemon Violet, Volbeat is going to be spawning more. The reason why, I don't know. But here's what the shinies look like. So in order to do this hunt, it's going to be very simple. All you have to do is just stand in front of Masui Town at night. That's it. Stand in front of here at night. Ready? Check this out and walk back out. And then you're going to look to your left and right, and you're going to start to see all these spawns just come in. Like I said, again, they're going to be different for Scarlet and Violet. So Scarlet players, Violet players, please help each other out by trading the opposite version. If you do happen to get an extra shiny, maybe do a shiny for shiny. It might be nice because town spawns are the easiest to catch shiny Pokemon because you just got to go in and out of the town. So good luck hunting and let me know which one you actually caught and what version you're playing. We're getting so many shinies. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can get shiny luck 
just like this. The next Pokemon that we're going to be hunting is Heracross. Now, Heracross's shiny is very obviously a nice pink shiny. And honestly, I think this is way better than the one in Aldea. I think you had to go to the bamboo forest there, but over here, you get so many spawning at a time. So you literally just have to stand right in front of this bamboo area and you could just picnic reset. So look at this. I'm just going to do that. Immediately hit Y as you despawn them out and you should get a bunch of them just spawning in. So you can basically picnic reset this entire thing over and over again to your advantage to try to get yourselves a Heracross pretty quick. Now, the exact location that I'm in is right over here. It's on the Mosfell Confluence land area, but it's not only going to be at this bamboo tree area. The other bamboo spots for this are going to exist out of the east of Masui Town on Revelers Road. So exit out of it on the east exit and here we are on the road and you immediately want to just make your way just follow me and right there there's the first bamboo tree and as soon as we head over there watch watch the spawns that show up here ready and bam there they are there's the hair across so they're also going to just start showing up over here by these bamboos so they, they sometimes take a little bit to load in but they do load in so you have another spot over here uh, which is exactly this spot on the map as well so if you go further up the road down this way here we go. You see bamboos. That means hair across. Here we go. There's another one. There's a couple more over here. There we go. Lots of hair across. So good luck getting your shiny hair across. Here's the one I found in Pokemon Violet right over here. Oh, yes, it is definitely doable. And since there's a lot, you should be able to get one. The next Pokemon that we're going to be hunting is going to be Surskit and Masquerine. And all you have to do to get to this Pokemon is literally come back to the Gracious Stones and make your way all the way to the right where it is by the water area. And as you enter the water, check this out. You're going to literally just see Sir Skits and Masquerade. And these shinies are pretty easy to identify. As you can see, it's going to be very obvious to notice the difference in the color. And pretty much all you have to do is just kind of just walk up and down in this water area. It's not going to be too hard. So it's it's a great way to distinguish the bug from the water typing. <laughs> because when we get to water, it's going to be very chaotic. But yeah, you can see it's evolutions here. You can see a bunch of it. Like, just look at this. It's a really good spot to come if you're trying to hunt it then you just have to go back and forth on this river or find a high piece of land facing the water seeing a bunch of spawns and you could possibly do a picnic reset so it's a fun hunt especially if you didn't get it in the base game in Paldea. now this hunt is going to be for Cricketot, and i feel like pokemon has not given this a great spawn in Paldea or the Teal Mask. In Paldea, it was stuck in that bamboo forest with a lot of other Pokemon, so you weren't able to really solo hunt it. But I feel like this spot is a little bit better in the game, as I can see, like, there are a couple more Krikatots that are spawning uh, in this area. So in order to hunt this Pokemon, we're just going to go from Masui Town, make a right, and go all the way up where I am. Uh, this is right by these bamboo tree areas. You don't want to get close to there because that spawns in the Heracross. So anyway, you do have a bunch of Krikatots spawning. They seem to be pretty much good over here. This seems to be a pretty good spot. And all you're really looking for is this color over here. And it's going to be a gold Johnny Pokemon line. So it shouldn't be too hard to see. Now, if you need to reset them, you could just do a picnic reset method to get them to go away and come back right about there. Unfortunately for us, there are some Spindas that do spawn around it. But that shouldn't be too much of a problem as it should be obvious to determine, you know, the Krikatots that are red and the shiny Krikatots that would possibly show up. There's some that spawn right in front of us just go ahead and explore this area a bit you know run around despawn but unfortunately i feel like this pokemon did not get the justice it needs with its own proper spawns another spot that you could spawn cricket tots is going to be so instead of up here you're going to come all the way down to the south of revelers road it's going to be pretty much around this hill area you will see some family spawn here with a cricket tune and the cricket tot you will get some spawns here and there but nothing is really like guaranteed to just be pure cricket dots. So just keep that in mind when you are exploring the area south of Revelers Road. And I noticed you do get cricket tunes in this area compared to the one all the way up north. So good luck getting a cricket tot. Let me know if you do happen to get one in this area. The Pokemon that we're going to be hunting now is going to be Spinarak and its evolution. And what you have to do is go to the Gracious Stones. You're looking for a blue shiny for the Spinarak and a more purple shiny for its evolution. Now, there are other Pokemon that do spawn here like Surskit, but you know what? It's not really as important as focusing on the spiders as those are going to be the ones you're really 
really hunting down. If it's gonna help you, a top down view is gonna be good as well as zooming in. That might help a bit. Like I said, the spiders are the most common over here or than any other bugs. You'll notice these are the prominent spawns. So pretty much all you wanna do is maybe position yourself in a good spot where a bunch of them will spawn and then maybe you can use a picnic reset or you could simply just rotate around this entire area. This is what we do pretty much for all these shiny videos when it comes to hunting these specific ones down. But for those who want to just focus on this Pokemon spawning and nothing else, I do have another spot that might be helpful if you really don't wanna see any other Pokemon spawning here so let me tell you about the secret spot the second location for spinnerack is going to be right over here in this spot it's going to be right south of the community center but to get the solo hunt for just that we're going to have to make a picnic this is going to be for people who want to really desperately hunt this and just i'll show this in the video but yeah you have you have multiple spots now so let's go make a poison sandwich for this i'm going to use one noodle and two salty herbas of course, again, put whatever recipes you would like in the comments below that are easier if people don't have the necessary ingredients. Make sure you see the encounter power and sparkling power when you're done. And when you put your picnic away, right in front of you will be a bunch of just spinnerack. Just go ahead and picnic reset until you see a blue one on the floor. There we go. Here's my picnic. Make sure to also check your sides or your back. Sometimes you might get one or two in the back. Like, there you go. There's there's like three right there. So always turn around. Make sure uh, you're not missing out on any and check all the spawns. So good luck. This is a really fun spot because it's a good corner and it avoids spawning other stuff. The next Pokemon we're going to be hunting is going to be Siwato. Now, I like to find a nice and easy spot instead of roaming a field. So coming right outside of Loyalty Plaza is probably a really good idea because it's almost acts like a town spawn. Now, the only issue is you're not going to just be getting solo sea waddles, but you only have to deal with another Pokemon, which is going to be Spinarax. So it's almost like a dual hunting spot. And here's what the shiny looks like for it. So you know what you're looking for. You can see the face is a little different. Here's the second evolution. And here is the third evolution for it on screen. Now, the simple things that you really have to do is just keep going in and out of the town in order to get them to spawn. And you can see a good amount spawns in here. Now, you can also go to the sides of the loyalty plaza, like just tap the side like this, let it say that, and then pop into the fields. And as soon as it's apple fields, you should also get some spawning right below you, just like that. So you're really just looking for that different color on them. Zoom and trick will definitely help when it's in grass. Now, just for clarity's sake, I did get my random one that spawned in Mosfell Confluence, but there are even more bug Pokemon there, making it a lot more harder to find the specific one you want. But this is a good spot because over around here is where I found my shiny Spinarak by accident. But let me show you an even better spot so you can just get solo spawns or Seawaddle. So for the secret spot to hunt Seawaddle, all you got to do is from Masui Town, go all the way down to this location over here. Now, the difference here is we're not going to be using a bug sandwich because we want to isolate this even further. So we're going to make a grass sandwich. We're cheating in this video by making a grass sandwich, but I know a lot of you guys don't like, I know a lot of you will have your bug sandwiches and you want to just hunt for the bug Pokemon. And you don't want to really make another sandwich. And this is just a cheat if you want to quickly just isolate this specific bug Pokemon. Okay, so make a quick grass sandwich with lettuce, salty herba mystica, and spicy herba mystica. It could be any of them, but I just use spicy. Once you have your sandwich with encounter power, you could just take a look right in front of you and check this out. This is the spot right over here. And right in front of me is the shiny. Oh, <laughs> right in front of me is the shiny. Okay, so you can see the magic of the spot. There's the shiny. And you can see the, the coloring of leaves on this thing, completely different. That is the uh, second. I have two sea waddles now. And that's pretty much all you're gonna do. Just make your picnic and reset it every time until you get it. So just like that, picnic, hit Y, and there's your sea waddles again. So they'll be right in front of you. All right, good luck hunting sea waddle over here. Now, if you watched my fairy video, you would most likely have a duty fly by now. But if you didn't, there's a spot that I didn't put in my fairy video that you can now just watch in this bug video. So you're just gonna make a fairy sandwich with uh, tomatoes, two salty herbas, and that's pretty much it. Again, Put a recipe in the comments where we went a little extra with sandwiches in this video, extra sandwiches, just for the sake of everyone getting their bug types. Now, if you go to this spot over here, which is the same exact spot we've been coming as our secret spot with the fairy sandwich and face this direction, you can just look for a pink dot with using the zoom in feature for your cutie fly. In order to reset all of them, just go ahead and do a picnic until you get the cutie fly of your choice. Make sure to always check behind you too, because look how many actually spawn every 
everywhere here when you have a little fairy sandwich active. You can get it with the bug, of course, but it is mixed with others. And this is the best way just to isolate it out. Of course, you can use the grubbin spot during the day that I mentioned. Pretty much just picnics and open it back up. And when you get that little pink dot during the daytime, you should be good to get your shiny. Now that you know all the bug Pokemon locations, you should check out this video over here.